So how do we now start measuring progress for Waymo? Yeah. Hey, Ed, great to be with you. Uh, yeah, it's an exciting time. Uh, you know, we have uh, been the first company to open up uh, uh, the first ride hailing service to the public, now expanding it to the largest contiguous service area on the planet with AV access, the first to serve airports, and we're expanding that. And in uh, San Francisco, as you alluded, we're expanding that as well. So what you can expect from us is we cross 10,000 trips uh, of aut fully autonomous trips to riders. And we we're going to 10x that over the course of, of the next year, roughly by about next summer. So more cities, uh, more uh, occasions, more riders, the same way more driver. Have you set a, a date or a target for full commercial deployment in any of these markets? Uh, Ed, I would say in Phoenix, we are in a full commercial deployment. You just download the app and ride. There's uh, no wait list. There's no NDA. There's no approvals. You just download the app and ride. So to give you an idea, during Super Bowl, we work with the host committee to deal with all the riders and visitors to Super Bowl. So that's pretty massive scale already. And now that if you look at it, we're covering most of major Metro Phoenix and anybody can download an app and ride. And we're pre seeing pretty healthy ridership as well as engagement, as well as retention. So I would say it's pretty commercial in uh, Phoenix already, full commercial deployment. And remind and our audience, are you... No, sorry, Saswat, continue. Yeah, and in San Francisco, uh, we have uh, tens of thousands of riders in our wait list. We're waiting for a paid permit to be able to begin charging them, but uh, we're still offering almost the entirety of the city and today have opened it up uh, North Beach as well as Fisherman's Wharf, some of the busiest locations of uh, San Francisco to trust your testers as well. There's a lot of discussion at the moment around artificial intelligence. My first exposure to that field was talking about machine learning in the context of training the perception side uh, and the yeah. compute side of self-driving. So what are you doing in the field of AI? How are you ramping up? Are you using LLMs to improve your existing technology? Yeah, Ed, uh, I mean, we have been uh, focusing on machine learning for a very, very long time. And it's in every part of our stack, everything from perception, like you mentioned, on how we perceive the world, how we predict other people's behavior, being able to distinguish when a pedestrian is standing by the a curb, but not intending to cross versus crossing. Uh, also in how we plan, how we drive through, uh, in every part of it, there are deep learned models all across our stack, but also in simulation as well as in validation. For example, simulating right. rain, right. fog, and those things, there's a tremendous amount of machine learning, and we're staying at the cutting edge of it with our research and have published some of it as well. 